Welcome back to Sultan Brain Hub, and in this video I'll be taking you through the lesions of the visual pathway. So before we start, if you haven't already, I would recommend that you take a look at one of our previous videos that explains the different parts of the visual pathway. But if you're feeling confident, let's move on. So first of all, we're going to go through the definitions that will help you to explain the effect of lesions in different aspects of the visual pathway. The first of these is homonymous. Homonymous simply means the same in both eyes. The next word is hemianopia, which means a loss of vision in half of the visual field. And finally, we have quadrantinopia, which means a loss of vision in one quarter of the visual field. So here I've drawn lesions in four parts of the visual pathway. Firstly, the optic nerve, then the optic chiasm, the optic tract, and Mayer's loop. The, each of these results in four different patterns of visual loss. So before we go through each of these, it might be a good idea for you to pause the video now and see if you can work out the effect of each of these lesions by yourself. Alright, so I'm going to be, as I go through each of the lesions A, B, C and D, I'll be drawing the effect that these lesions has, have on the um, visual fields um, on the right hand side, um, where I've got the visual fields of the left and the right eye, um, with the corresponding uh, lesions of A, B, C and D. So let's start with lesion A, which is within the optic nerve. A lesion here would cause damage to all the fibres coming from the retina of the right eye, resulting in total blindness. So therefore we would have this pattern in the right visual field, we would get loss of all of the vision. Next we have a lesion in the optic chiasm, and this is B. For example, this might be due to a compression from a large pituitary tumour. Here we would get damage to fibres that have originated from the nasal retinal fields of both eyes and this would result in a loss of vision in the temporal visual field of both eyes. And so this would appear like this. And this condition is known as bilateral or bitemporal hemianopia. Next we have a lesion in the right optic tract. In this case we would get damage to the fibres that have originated from the temporal side of the right retina and the nasal side of the left retina, causing a loss of vision in the left side of the visual field of both eyes. And so this would appear like this. And this condition is known as left homonymous hemonopia. Homonymous meaning the same in both eyes and hemonopia meaning loss of half the visual field. So finally we have a lesion D which is a lesion in Mayer's loop. Now these fibres are part of the um, inferior division of the optic radiations and carries visual information from the superior visual fields. But we also need to remember that this lesion has only occurred on the right side of the brain. So bearing in mind the same principles as in the previous lesion, this lesion causes a loss of vision only in the left superior fields of both eyes, which can be drawn like this. So this is called left superior homonymous quadrantinopia. So this is the end of this short video. If you've enjoyed watching this, you can find more of these videos at www.sultanbrainhub.co.uk or visit our Facebook page. And thank you for listening. Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.